Hi all. So this is the name of the topic today. As you can see, highlighted sort of highlight. Well, highlighted there. That's it. Yeah. Um. So it says how genuine Christians can never do m murder sorry how genuine Christians can never murder humans or people so these are the subjects I'll be talking about how God stops us in our tracks also why does God prevent us from doing things but remember this is the title of the video how genuine Christians can never murder humans so let me get cracking basically when it when it comes to murder and not murdering the only people that actually do the murdering is a person that is not a Christian if it's a governmental thing or anything from the past when it when it was to do with Christians you know that was so because in those days it was horrific but basically hear me out I'll show you and you could say encourage you if you like because basically let me just turn it down a bit because of the echo basically I, the reason why I did this video is because I it was to do with last year last year's uh, you know the attacks that that was being plastered on the news about the the I the, the so-called IS group because when when the the news said that a devout Christian turned to IS you know I was talking about it with with some of my Christian friends and they were saying you know how can a how can a Christian a genuine Christian a ha somebody somebody that's been impacted by God and been touched by God can somehow just randomly go out there and join and join a group like this but you know I'm not here to like talk against Islam I'm just trying to talk about murder but like, like what they said how can how can a, a person a devout Christian turn in that kind of way and join a group that will that will create mass murder and chaos globally and fear globally and to answer that question basically and also slowly so please watch all the way through this video to the end obviously basically for somebody to do that they're you know a devout Christian or s supposed to be like the media says devout Christian they're not they weren't as well weren't Christian because or just they didn't understand God because you know for for a devout Christian or, or a genuine Christian to to not murder
to not murder but you know so what I'm trying to say is basically when to please God and and they will be aware of their wrongs more more than well sorry they're both they're both aware the unbeliever and the believer they're both aware of their wrongs and their rights and they're well aware of of their of their of whether they're good or bad they might deceive themselves if they're murdering they might deceive themselves thinking they're doing right but clearly in the outward exterior with other people around or other people knowing they will they will know that that person isn't genuine they know that something's wrong but for somebody to commit murder anyway they 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 themselves are suffering they they have that pain inside of them that that longing of of truth of satisfaction of of peace basically of contempt so yeah but and to answer I move on so this one to answer this one how how God stops us in our tracks or or if you could say if when it comes to murder hmm basically I don't know how I'm gonna uh, hmm. so in all this chaos you know with with God being fully in control and also in co in control of the devil you know God can do whatever he likes but with obviously with freedom of control if that person is able to let them I mean if some if somebody is is fully touched by God, God can easily stop them in their tracks. But if somebody has never experienced God, you know, you don't know what they will be confessing on their deathbed. They could confess anything. They could repent at the last moment even up until from birth all the way all up all up all up all up until they actually and literally are on the are on their deathbed when if they confess their sins in front of God and say you know and also feel sorryful about what they've done in the past you know God is God is and will be just to forgive them if they have a have a sincere heart about it about their mistakes and and are willing to change God can forgive anyone even to the worst criminal this question and also this one why does God prevent prevent us from doing things I don't know if these two subjects these t these net these subjects are going to answer the main question 
but I'll genuine Christian would not murder but I'll give it a shot so I also um, well so as I was saying why does God prevent us from doing things I mean sometimes with in regards to in regards to both of these that have been highlighted these ones you know God can distract us so these two God can distract us and prevent us and from doing things in just for safety for that person or or for yourself but it's, it's a case of protection really this is why sometimes not all not all murders not all murderers can commit the full ferocity of the murder that they step step out to do because God always has a limit no they can't they can't always kill a mass amount even if they do it's it's not really a big amount compared to the whole population of the world so you always hear about terrorists and other murderers killing like hundred or maybe a thousand but I'm not actually not not even a thousand that's a bit too too mad you 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 could say probably about a hundred but I haven't fully researched this but um I don't it's not it's it's normally not many that murder is murder it's not a lot as you all will notice so yeah but I've got some scriptures but I'm not trying to pull you well I'm just trying to show you an answer to s stuff that's maybe bothering you just to give you an understanding that there is another way you know thing but is your what you're struggling with is not always the only answer to what you you're going through if that makes sense what I'm trying to say is if you're struggling with something and you have only one answer to your problem you know bear in mind there's always another option there's never a, there is never a single answer to every question there's always other alternatives as most people most adults know so let me pull up the scriptures so in regards to this these this title this is also preventing with what I've said earlier it says from tar so in in Acts 16 NIV translation it says verse 11 from Tarsus we put out to sea and sailed straight for Samothria Samothris I think that says not sure this one here you can't really see it but I'll see what I can do hang on so you might not be to see it properly but um, I'll bring it up slightly bigger
let me just Look at scripture again. So here we are. From Taurus put out to sea and sailed straight. I didn't read it properly because I already read it already. For Samothrace, and which is spelled S A M O T H R A C E. And the next day we went out to Neopolis and we stayed there several days on the Sabbath. We went outside the city gate to the river where the, we expected to find a place of prayer. We sat down and began to speak to the woman who had gathered there. Reading from here one of those listening was a woman from the city of Thyatra named Lydia a dealer in purple cloth she was a worshipper of God the Lord opened her up, opened her heart to respond to Paul's message when she and the members of the household were baptized she invited us to her home if you can she said if you consider me a believer in the lord she said come and stay at my house and she persuaded us but a bit i'll show you if you have if you've missed it or didn't understand uh, where is it? From Tarshish was put out the sea and sailed straight for Samothra. And the next day we went on to Nopolis. Days on the Sabbath we went outside the city gate to the river where we expected to find a place of prayer. We sat down and began to speak to the woman. Oh, it's not there. Um, it's not Sorry, I've given the wrong scripture. Sorry, I've given the wrong one because I've blown it up and I got distracted. Okay. Yeah, this is the one I meant to. This is the one I meant to give to you. It says Paul and his companions travelled throughout the region. Of of Phrygia and Galatia, G L A T I A Galatia, having been kept by the Holy Spirit from preaching the word in the province in the province of Asia, when they came to the border of Mes Mysia, they tr they tried to enter Bith Bithynia, but the spirit of Jesus would not allow them to begging him come over to Macedonia and help us after Paul had seen the vision we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel them sorry to preach the gospel to them uh, maybe there was a mistake why sorry maybe there was a purpose why I read the wrong passage but this one I've just read you this one here is the right passage I was meant to read you so and that was Acts 16 verse 6 to 10 but let me read you an a brief one a few maybe
so in Psalm 3 verse 7 it says save me O my God for you have struck all my enemies on the cheek cheekbone you have broken the teeth of the ungodly salvation belongs to the Lord your blessing is upon you. I think I'll stop it from there Wait a minute, sorry. So it says, Psalm 12 verse 14, The fool has said in his heart, There is no God, they are corrupt they have done abo abdom abdominal works which is, but I'll give it to you word for word or I should say voice for voice you have Psalm 51 verse, six, verse 61 and Psalm 69 verse 1 I think that's saying verse 1 so Psalm 69 verse 1 to 70 and also 2 which I don't understand that but um I'll leave actually so have a look at that So that's really all I have to say but before I go these are my this is hopefully what's coming up next the next topic which I'll put coming soon and it's titled how to have patience with this with me speaking about the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof but that's from the Bible that scripture that verse this one that's highlighted so these are the zoom in yes I can so have a rough look and see if you fancy or interested I should say in me doing any videos soon if you guys want me to do any videos sooner or if you want any requested personally then just let me know in the description but some of these are not confirmed so I'm not sure if I'm, at, I'm exactly going to do them so I could easily delete them but these these writings are are just a small percentage of what of what I haven't done yet I still have thousands of videos to do So yeah, I know I haven't um properly shown you all the words on all of them, but let me just scroll up a bit more. Right. spelling mistake like I said these are not confirmed so I might delete them 
but I very rarely do so far. So if you haven't seen any of these writings properly, please let me know. But on a weekly basis, maybe daily basis, I'm always adding new new words, new inspiration on what videos to do. I can get five in a day or one a day, but maximum is normally five a day. And I yeah, can't really say much about that really. So why why are some preachers wicked, evil, false, false Christ? Well, I'll sort that out another time. Quite right. But they'll be fixed. So yeah, that's all I have to say for now. So, God bless. Peace with you. Bye for now.